Tops 1. Lockbox File Import To import a bank lockbox file, we begin by clicking on Accounts Receivable on the menu. And then choosing Cash Receipts. You can either click on the black Cash Receipts lockbox area on the right or click on Actions. Import Lockbox File We are immediately given the Import Lockbox File window. Before choosing the file to import, you must first select the posting date by clicking the calendar icon to the right of the date, and then select the correct date. There are a few lockbox file formats to choose from. Our file is in the standard format. Now we are ready to import our file. This function allows us to browse our accessible drives to find the file. The blue bar indicates that the lockbox file import is in progress. You will get a message at the bottom of the screen, once the file has completed importing. Click Close, to close the lockbox file import window. The lockbox file imports as individual cash receipt batches. Our file contains payments for three different communities. Clicking on the batch allows you to select it for posting. This also allows you to review the batch information, which includes the number of owner payments and the total amount of the batch. Clicking on Edit allows you to see each homeowner payment included in the batch. Clicking detail on one of the payments will give you more information about that particular owner's payment. Note the different received date from our entered posting date. The received date is the date that was embedded in the lockbox file. You can also view and adjust the distribution of this payment to the owner's outstanding charges, if needed. Click save to save any changes made. Let's click on our other two batches to select them for posting. Click Post Selected to post the payments that were included in the lockbox file. You can view the details of each of the batches on the screen. The information for each community is listed separately. The Print button will allow you to print the batch detail in report form. To access an individual batch, click on Menu. Accounts Receivable Cash Receipts This view is community specific, so we only see the batch for Chessman Community Association. Clicking on the down arrow to the right of the batch allows us to view the details of that batch. Let's add a comment to this batch. We'll first enter in the subject and then the details. Click Add Comment to save. If you scroll down to the bottom of the batch, you can see the comment we added. Clicking the down arrow to the right of the comment will display the comment details. Click the down arrow again on the batch to hide the batch details. This concludes our Tops 1 Lockbox File Import Tutorial. Thank you.